heavyweight title fight for the ages between John Jones and the UFC Hall of Famer, Matt Hughes. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Jones weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have an 11 inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 45 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsborough, Illinois. Introducing the challenger, Matt Hughes. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to warm up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and let's go and say fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. Damian Maya may be 
the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press. Whoa! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to enter the referee's going to stop. You got to spin. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. He lands with the left. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. The Kimura's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should, same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Hughes going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hughes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Come on, man, let's get that Much improved down. defensively as he blocks the shot. Switching stances here. 
Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Put your hands in the right place. Hughes gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. It's such a fast leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hughes gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Hughes's pass attempt denied. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Side control now. Well, he's got him softened up here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Trying to recover full guard there. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jones. Get out of there. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Press forward, get that takedown, let's win the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Oh, that's a good strike there by Jones. That is a thudded leg kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, 
He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got a double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Uses back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch wow. the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, the cardio, the push the pace and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Push him off. Push him off. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Let's go. We stopped you. Hit him off. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pump. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. I need elbows. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hughes. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Massive knee to the body line. Nice punch there by Hughes. Oh, collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, 
Oh, huge block. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that snake? You gotta be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns and those trips in all kinds of different down, there you go. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon's shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Seconds to go. Control the hands. Control the hands. Watch yourself. Control the wrist. Grab the wrist. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Come on, I want a little more. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? Thank you. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. His hands are down, high kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Found the target with that left hand. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Relentless pressure from the top by Hughes. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's not going to be able to continue. Uh -oh. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Hughes. with the ground and pound. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching for the up kicks, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
Hughes is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Under two minutes to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. This is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Hughes. Solid strike on the ground. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Under a minute to go in round four. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Nice kick landed there by Hughes. Big knee land. Stuffed while the opponents seem to think he, and this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Seconds. Ten seconds, go, baby. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Hughes' pass is denied. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, Final and he's round, chasing ready? some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Again, they will clinch. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return it to the back. Single collar tie now. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knee land. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jones. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston back oh, in the day. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Under three minutes to decide this one. I need four elbows from the top.
Jones' eye is closing up now. Not good for him. That is it! That'll do it! Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Matt So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.